9 Facts About Elon Musk and SpaceX Starship Rocket As Elon Musk prepares to launch his Starship rocket into orbit, technology reveals all the vital statistics around the ambitious interstellar project. Musk founded SpaceX in 2002 with the goal of reducing space transportation costs to enable the colonize a tie-in of Mars. SpaceX manufactures the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy launch vehicles, several rocket engines, Cargo Dragon, crew spacecraft, and Starlink communications satellites. The new SpaceX rocket system, Starship, is the biggest ever devised at 120 meters or 394 feet in height. Musk's hopes of a spring 2022 launch depend on the Federal Aviation Administration. The licensing authority will not issue a permission to fly until an environmental assessment is completed. Addressing his audience at SpaceX company's ERD facility in Boca Chica, Musk said, I think we're tracking to have the regulatory approval and hardware readiness around the same time. Technology looks at all the key facts around the remarkable Starship project. Musk also claims that the cost of orbital missions should fall to less than $10 million in two to three years. Number 1. Most Powerful Launch Vehicle Ever Collectively referred to as Starship, the 120 meter Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket represent a fully reusable transportation system. It is designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars and beyond. Upon completion, Starship will be the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, with the ability to carry in excess of 100 metric tons into Earth's orbit. Number 2. Super Heavy The main engines on the Apollo Saturn V rockets produced around 35 mega newtons, about 8 million pounds of force upon ignition. During the first stage of Starship, known as Super Heavy, should be capable of delivering around 75 mega newtons. Number 3. Starship Spacecraft According to SpaceX.com, Starship offers an integrated payload section and is capable of carrying passengers and cargo to Earth orbit, planetary destinations, and between destinations on Earth. Starship is a fully reusable spacecraft for the second stage of the launch sequence, which is after the fairing jettison of the large Super Heavy booster. Number 4. Payload Gains Despite the Saturn V rocket being capable of a greater max payload to low Earth orbit at 118,000 kg, Starship will be capable of a 100,000 kg payload, and if it can be converted to full reusability, offsets the massive cost of disposable rocket launches. The Starship payload, 9 meters in diameter and 18 meters high, will be the largest usable payload volume of any current or in-development launcher. Crucially, this payload volume can also be configured for both crew and cargo. Number 5. NASA Key Partner for SpaceX After a traumatic time personally for Musk in terms of financial concerns and launch failures, the first successful launch of Falcon 1 was achieved at the fourth attempt on the 28th of September 2008. Musk split his last remaining $30 million between SpaceX and Tesla, and NASA awarded the first commercial resupply services CRS contract to SpaceX in December, saving the company from potential ruin. NASA essentially validated the SpaceX program in 2011 by estimating that it would have cost the agency about 10 times more $4 billion to develop a rocket like the Falcon 9 booster based upon NASA's traditional contracting processes. While still very much as partnership, NASA have expressed concerns about SpaceX's Starlink system. Number 6. Moving Towards Reusable Rockets While Falcon 9 was a breakthrough in regards to the boost stage and the fairing stages, Starship aims for full and rapid reusability. The inaugural test flight a once around the Earth trip is set to last for 90 minutes, ending with a disposal landing in the Pacific around Hawaii with the super-heavy component to be ditched in the Gulf of Mexico. In the future, Musk aims for both segments of future vehicles to be reusable, making controlled touchdown either on a land or on sea platforms. Number 7. Starship Crucial to Starlink Orbital Broadband Network In January 2020, the Starlink constellation became the largest satellite constellation ever launched. 
With 1,469 Starlink satellites deployed already by SpaceX, the grand total is actually planned to be around 30,000, bringing in a new age of connectivity and global broadband capabilities. 40 out of 49 Starlink satellites recently fell from the sky from Earth's upper atmosphere due to a geomagnetic storm that knocked out the majority of the fleet. The losses could have cost Musk SpaceX as much as 20 million US dollars. Number 8. Space Force Crucial to SpaceX Success SpaceX has no fixed abode in its operations. The headquarters is located in the Los Angeles suburb of Hawthorne, California, but SpaceX manufactures and flies Starship test vehicles from Erd facility at Boca Chica, Texas. Space Force have granted SpaceX use of their bases in Vandenberg and Cape Canaveral, with flight operations shifted to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, where another launch pad for Starship is under construction. In August 2020, the U.S. Space Force gave SpaceX a contract for $316 million for one launch. Additionally, SpaceX will also carry out 40% of the U.S. military's satellite launch requirements over the next five years. Number 9. Starship – The Key to Moon and Mars Missions So far during the Starship project, there have been 144 total successful launches, 106 total successful landings, and 83 total flight-proven launches. Long keen to lead the potential colonize a tie-in of the Martian landscape, Elon Musk is driven by the desire to preserve humanity as a species. He said back in 2016, History is going to bifurcate along two directions. One path is we stay on Earth forever, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. The U.S. entrepreneur's goal is to send an uncrewed mission to Mars by 2024, with crewed flights planned in 2026. A commercial trip around the Moon could be possible by 2023, with the ultimate ambition of kick-starting a million-strong city on Mars by 2050.